I'll be racked until he get healed all after being rejected and I shaved and took in a high school runway episode 5. And I'll be starting my reaction in 1, 0, go. All right, I'm pumped up for this. Hell yeah. Oh, man, the thing is, though, while he is mixing in bits of truth, it's just that the, during the gravity of the lie, it's going to be a lot more harder. But then I guess he does have no choice but to go this route. I like how she's already adding the John, <laughs> like instantaneously. But hey, you know what? All right. I actually don't mind Gota being part of the narrative. Only because, for one, She's, every moment she's involved with, there's always interesting just to see what she's going to get, what type of stuff she's going to get involved with. And when by that, I wonder what her angle is going to be when it comes to her satisfying the curiosity. I'm just saying. Now. And saying that, other things I'm also really interested in with this week, I'm interested just in the fact that, aside from seeing Gelta's reaction, I'm really interested in seeing how Sai is going to react to all this. Hopefully, though. Sayo and Gozo hit it off pretty well. But you know what? I think they will because Gozo is pretty level-headed and plus we do see her hanging out with Sayo in the opening. In that small bit. And just the way she's teasing her cute little um, Yoshida's looking adorable. Oh yeah, Yoshida's definitely the guy who never overstepped the boundaries. Oh! I can see why Sai would have reservations because... It could be that subconsciously she might be gaining feelings towards Yoshi. She, she, will, she might start feeling some romantic feelings towards him. Either that or she might, no, no, you know what, it ain't that, it can't be that. More like she might be worried what happened if Gozo and Yoshida were to get in a really serious relationship and she might feel like she, potentially Saya could be abandoned. That could also be it. Hey, might as well get out as much honest feelings as we can out of the way.
Oh, she making that face. Oh, and I love that. Seeing your ship attack her. Aww. All things considered, yeah, so I was gonna need to have a private conversation with Koto eventually. Considering that Goto's about to become a significant factor in Kiyoshida's life. At the very least, the Goto isn't trying to press on into anything too dicey at the very least. I love that. Shows you that Goto's willing to respect boundaries. Because some people are forceful. Hmm. I was wondering when she was going to ask that. Oh! 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 oh. Those excuses, they're about as effective as trying to get a little kid in to protect a home from a robber. It ain't just gonna work one bit. always trying to make a move regardless. I love that type of aggressivity though. Well, I wouldn't say aggressivity, more like assertiveness. Okay, now this conversation is starting to feel like more like an interrogation now, if you ask me. But I can really understand why she's talking this way though. Um, go to. Most people in our spot would do the same thing. Mm hmm. And while, yes. I'm surprised she actually came out with that. I was thinking she didn't keep that info locking. Took on it. That is some character on for Sayu for her to for her to just say that to go to that takes a lot of strength. <laughs> oh, the, my timer didn't go on for some reason. And honestly, someone like her does deserve happiness.
I have it fixed now for those of you curious. And hell yeah, Yoshida. He should be able. Oh yeah, that's a good point. But someone like Sayu does deserve to be spoiled at least a little bit. I do like that though. At least Goto. Hmm. At least Goto at the very least is nunging Sayu towards the right direction in regards to thinking about things a bit more. Hey, you know that's growth for Sayu. It's good because it's never right to run away from everything forever. You're gonna have to confront things eventually. And I love that. We're seeing Sayu mature more before our very eyes. Aww. And in those moments or some moments where someone should be. Exactly. You gotta accept the good and the bad in those phases of your life. And I love the character Mona can go to so we're seeing her sweet side. Aww. Gotta admit, this seemed really Really made me love Gozo. Holy, holy cow. And that's and the thing is that's only the first time <laughs> Oh jeez. He would say no straight up, our boy. We all know the answer to that. Oh well, yeah, but the situations are completely different. Ho <laughs> ho She used the G card there. Okay. Oh, snap. Uh, kind of? No. You straight up followed him. That's not kind of. But in saying that, though, at least she acknowledges what she did was a bit unethical there. It's a great scene there. We know that like, Yoshida doesn't want to hurt her emotionally, but the thing is, it's like such a sensitive topic that anyone Yoshida's spot wouldn't argue with what type of words to use in that scenario. I mean, no one would lame him. Ho ho! <laughs> yeah, I think that's, um, everyone knows it at that point. Oh, 
Aww. Well, yeah, I mean, she wouldn't have any benefit to lying. I could see why Sai wouldn't. <laughs> I mean, I know she's saying that Goto is a mysterious woman, but Sai is mysterious herself. Well, to other people, she's mysterious. Oh, oh, that's adorable. And I love that too, showing you that when it comes to Sayu, just as long as she does happy, she'd be completely cool with it. That, that, oh, that is just so fucking sweet. And plus, that scene also helps resolve a plot point. At the very least, now Goto and so there's, they're not going to be at least in major conflict with each other at the very least. Hmm. Well, yeah, I mean, there's only no Yoshida can talk himself out of that scenario. Hmm. Huh. You know, that is a good question there. Well, what do you shoot up for its eyes? Yeah, at least that answers the question. He would prioritize Sayu in that scenario. By those implications. At least until Sayu is um, capable of leaving, that is. Emotionally capable, I mean to say. The thing is, though, Yoshida's not going to have the answer until... And so maybe he spends more time with Goat, so that's the thing. She's saying he's way too nice, yet those are probably reasons why she fell in love with him in the first place. That she's actually right on, because if you're too nice... You do end... Damn, I was hoping we'd see more of her. Aww. <laughs> but yeah, when you're too nice, though, you do end up... Sometimes seeming like you're like there isn't much fun factor to you, or in cases where you're too nice, you're too easily usable if you're too nice. I can see where she's coming from there. That's why it is saying nice guys finish last. It's Don't look so bad with it. <laughs> you know that's a good point. Because if he doesn't comment on the changes, then it'll look like he doesn't take an interest. I can see why. <laughs> that comment that's like it would apply in a lot of scenarios. Aww. He's trying to realize the Goto greatness. I mean, the Saya greatness. That's what I meant to say. Hmm. Oh, usually when a lady says nothing, it usually means something.
あああああBut lots of people in Sai's age are, but yes, Sai more so than others their age. I just hope for past. I just hope man. I just hope the past of Sai doesn't come knocking because. For all we know, she could have an overly attached uh, former, well, I wouldn't say former ex-boyfriend, but one of those formerly attached people that she, that's how you did it with. Hoping none of them cause crazy shit, but you never know. Normal way of ending off the episode of nice, happy, wholesome vibes. I dig this. I'm actually gonna give this one a nine out of ten because it actually, um, at the very least, resolved some things. Because at the very least, now we have Goto in on the whole thing too, and I do like that because and now at the very least. She's going to be in the know. And in addition to that, something else that I also do like about this episode too. It's in a runabout way what Yoshia would prioritize. And I like how he, in a runabout way, he does mention that he would try to set up a situation where if he had to choose between love or Sayu, he wouldn't want Sai to be kicked out. Showing you that he cares more about size well being than say something short something like a romance and I do like that shows he his selflessness there that he'd be thinking about the well being of another person than say his own love life. I think there's something really sweet in that. Because most people wouldn't do that. And that's why I absolutely adored the episode. Especially those heartful Sai Yun Gelta moments. They were awesome. It looks like it's going to be an after credits because there's still, yeah, in the Crunchyroll time, there's still quite a bit left. Oh, I love that cute little name she's got for Sayu. I love how she introduced Super Duper Cute. Not just Super Cute, but Super Duper Cute for extra measure. Like, you know, she's looking out for our girl. Okay, why does that dude... Okay. Why well, am I getting bad vibes from that dude? I hope that fucker doesn't... Doesn't do anything crazy next... In the next few episodes. I got my eye on him. I definitely got my eye on him. But anyways, another thing I do also love about this episode on top of all of that, I do love the fact that this episode, it's definitely implying that, for one, there is going to be some major fucking tension because that guy looks like it could be pretty dangerous. Or I could just be paranoid as fuck, too. I mean, who the hell knows? Either way, I'm loving where this could potentially be going. Now, aside from that, though, another thing I also loved about this episode, too, I actually really adore the character development for Goto because to see her that understanding was really dang beautiful. I was like, oh, that is so, so damn sweet. And on top of that, 
I do love how this episode also brings up some major questions too, which is, yeah, what's going to be eventually the end game for Sayu after all is said and done? And I love how the episode finally brought it up. And while, yes, there's not necessarily going to be an answer to that, because things like that require a lot of thought, I love how it brought it up regardless. Because it's going to set up for, at the very least, a nice and amusing, emotional conclusion, if the series does get one. Because I think it's based off of source material, so that would just depend. And that's why I love this episode, too. And then it wastes a single bit of time. And the animation was good, and that's why I gotta give it straight up a 9 out of 10. I just thought it was absolutely wonderful. At least from my perspective. But anyways, y'all. These are my thoughts on the episode. I would love to hear your thoughts on how I feel about my reaction or the episode itself in the comment section below. Hope y'all rate the bit, share it, comment, or subscribe. And I'll see y'all later if y'all come back for more. Because I'm definitely going to be reacting to the next episode. But anyways, y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching my video. Now, fantastic day, everyone.